Hey, Saggy baby. Hope you're having a good day. If not, $20 energy reads. And I think you are. You don't have, or you don't feel like you have any problems you need to solve in your life. But you don't probably also feel like with those source communication, three is support. You're probably self-motivating yourself or you have no one you feel like you could talk to. Or... <clears throat> You keeping it, you feel like things are unbalanced when it comes to that Libra communication. Or you're not getting justice when it comes to some kind of communication. You could be in your masculine energy, baby daddy, baby mama, or just a person, independent person. Because this is the emperor, emperor, empress energy, soldier energy. Where are you finding wisdom and stability? So you've been learning things on your own? Or you've been in the <clears throat> more air energy? Because those that's fire in air. Aquarius in, not Aquarius, sorry. Aries in Libra. So you and your soldier energy. And uh, I feel like also with this Libra in reverse, you could be feeling a little more romantic more um wanting to feel a little flyer you know you keeping things to yourself using your intuition high priest is out here with pisces energy beliefs and build a bomb energy pisces the sign of beliefs so you feel like you're gonna be i feel like with this too on this high priestess you're gonna be in the right place at the right time to meet this emperor empress energy and y'all both don't have anything y'all have to resolve with each other so y'all gonna get along fine or you gonna meet, meet like a businessman or woman yeah someone you don't have unresolved issues with you won't feel vulnerable or you don't feel vulnerable about it eight again eight is unbalanced With this communication, no support with that three. Yes, this person going to be cool sailing. Are you returning to your fate? You multitasking? Are you not multitasking? You getting a lot of shit done. <clears throat> Probably that's why you in that four protective energy. Two, you getting things aligned on that high priestess. Yeah, three. You're in your soldier energy. So what we have out here, we have Pisces, Aries twice, Sagittarius, Leo, Libra, Pisces again, friend, looking for the truth or finding out information, studying something, somebody studying you. Are trying to find the truth in something. They feel vulnerable. But y'all don't have any unresolved problems. It's kind of like this person know they fucked up. You probably fucked up. And nobody is bowing down. But in a disrespectful way. Like this is nobody you would look at as husband, wifey material to be submitting to. It's nobody that has shown you anything. If anything, it was for a reason. That's why it was fake. And now you get the game stable playing. But you about to get a emperor, empress energy that's returning to their faith. Or that could be you. About to get a message. Motivated in life. You passionate and motivated. Like I said, you out there with that eight of cups in your feelings. Somebody trying to probably see if you really give a fuck about them or whatever. Trying to find the truth. While you out there being passionate. Returning to your faith. Watching your ships come in. Probably feeling vulnerable about it. But I know. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. You moving around. 
you got off that horse after you did the work and you used your intuition waiting for your shit to come in so you could or you got something coming in or it's already has already come in because it came in reverse which means you're not doing a lot or you got a lot done high priestess what's the deal you cleaned your energy it could even just be you cleaning out the garage your closet uh, cleaning washing the curtains just doing shit cleaning behind your stove and refrigerator yeah you have to change your perception perception when it comes to what you passionate about seeking the truth somebody feeling vulnerable that's untainable though watching you do your own thing and then you have someone you have not met that you do not have an issue with wanna holla at you holla 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 for somebody looking at you or somebody you haven't met yet and that's probably what you're waiting on. It's like you got your ice cream. You're just waiting on the sprinkles. Hi, night. Hi, night. Hi, night. Hi, night. Description box. Community board if you want energy ready with pony. Tarot. Cash at me. Or if you already have my number, just text me. If you cash at me or PayPal me with your number or a message on it, it'll go by quicker. So, yes, yeah, Cosmic Insights. Yeah, you the boss. Who's the boss? Can't nobody put no fucking love spell on you. Fuck you think this is? Get out of here. Yeah, you manifesting. You your masculine energy. No matter what sex you are, LGBTQ, someone want to take you on a honeymoon. Oh, that's what you manifesting. If you, uh, these gold diggers can't put a love spell on you. That's what they feel like. Manifesting. They can't manifest you. What did I say? Ain't shit gonna come out of it. No birth, no nurturing, no uh, consideration, no companionship. You ain't fuck all that. You manifesting. But you have people that don't have shit to offer you or that ain't doing shit with their life. Don't even have a decent fucking conversation. That's why they into the petty shit. Seeing who gonna do the phone chasing game. Who gonna double text. Who gonna double call. Who gonna do dumb shit. Who got the biggest butt and penis? Who could pick you up and drop you off? Who got the gas money, honey? They worried about shit that they should already have together or not be insecure by. Who uh, <clears throat> who got the um, be best job and who got the um, nicest car, nicest house? They worried about the wrong shit. Honeymoon. Let's see what's falling in there. So you got gold diggers that's not manifesting you. They cannot love spell you. Tell you that you fine or give you a pet name and they don't even know you. <clears throat> Let me see. Yeah, some earth water energy or this could be earth relationship. Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Somebody want a relationship, stability, security is what you're going to have when you get to this honeymoon energy. Or somebody going to invite you to a wedding? Let it resonate. Are you been invited? Honeymoon phase is like two years. Yeah, this could also mean relationships. So you have gold diggers. That cannot manifest you because they cannot put a love spell on you. Don't be trying to do some earth energy with you, a vibe with you. Come together and shit like that. Grow. Or you could have a person with a gold digger and they not manifesting shit or nothing's birthing over there. And they're in a relationship with the earth sign or this could be the earth sign. But either way, you manifesting 
Stop letting. Ooh, okay, so it's going to be a no. I didn't even see this card. Hun night, hun night. For the gold diggers and the people that can't put love fit on you, they ain't going to like you. You ain't going to be stupid enough just like you wasn't dumb enough for this last motherfucker. So the manifesting, maybe you haven't birthed anything. Yeah. <clears throat> These people won't let you go. <clears throat> they keep trying to manifest you. Oh, that's what you're going to have. Make room for a new beginning on the way to you now. That's coming in reverse. So you got to go dig it and some note for them because they can't, they haven't called you, they haven't played with you, which is a good thing. And you should be proud of yourself that this person feel comfortable not to play with you no more because now they get the games like, oh, well, fuck the no contact, fuck the if I could put some more pressure, whatever the fuck they were doing, it's not working. So that's why these, they could just shut up. <clears throat> this gold digger, this gigolo. It's a no. Why you manifesting? You probably haven't shown what you wanted and you haven't let it go. But don't worry about it. Maybe you haven't gave, given up on being single. Because you got the earth water energy. <clears throat> That's not patience. I just seen that come in reverse. Yeah, you don't have no gambling and addiction problems. <clears throat> or you probably good with your finances, but either way, this other person, I feel like you're manifesting, and even if you haven't birthed anything, you to be in the collective right now, you're not letting it go. So it's gonna <clears throat> So you're gonna meet someone that don't have a problem with their finances and shit and drugs. Wanna be in a relationship by an earth and water sign. They want to take you, or it's going to feel like a honeymoon energy. <clears throat> it won't be no pressure. It won't be no calling you all day. Maybe every day you might get a text, but go slow. Don't worry about that everyday shit. Just keep living. when you do get with someone. You want them to keep living too. Especially if you're scared of a commitment, Sagittarius. <laughs> Let's keep going with the features. <clears throat> Let's see what these people look like or what you look like or uh, your person or whoever's around them. Huh? Hazel eyes. Makeup. Because our eyes can be contacts. Attractive. Maybe some of you women need to put on makeup, petite. Fashion is so attractive in fashion. High cheekbones. Wear a hat. Try to pop up. Pregnant. Oh, so somebody was probably trying to act like they were pregnant, and you know, they had a miscarriage or dark eyes. So I guess somebody is pregnant. Maybe it's even their kid. Maybe they have an adult child that's pregnant. Oh, you do. But the pregnancy had... <clears throat> Maybe you're not pregnant. Or somebody want to get you pregnant. Because...
pregnancy was you manifesting and the pregnancy came in reverse. So you might, somebody might get you pregnant on this honeymoon. Why wouldn't they if you want a baby or you can have babies? You better get it together. Make you <laughs> Okay. Makes sense. Now let's see what really makes sense with this love. Can't take talk to you now. Mm -hmm. That's why they haven't called you, or maybe you didn't answer their texts or call a couple of times, and now they're in their feelings. I mean, if you call them and they not paying you no mind, or they get off the phone off, uh, off uh, early, excuse me, or you know. Uh, Ignore you talk to people in the background or whatever it is that they do. They really not going along with what they say they're going to do. Fuck, that's just like them uh, playing with you. You ignoring them, them ignoring you in your face. Gaslighting you, ignoring you. Mental abusing you in your face. Ignoring someone that's mental abuse. That's why it's best to just go silent. You don't have to act like you don't fucking know. You are so different from the people around me. You fucking right. saying don't let the left hand over to right hand do it man Sagittarius we don't even have to do that we can tell you what we gonna do to you <laughs> that's how honest we are we'll tell you what we gonna do to you before we do it and you will believe it I can't do this right now why do I feel so lost talk to you right now. I don't know who I am anymore. <laughs> da -da -dee, da -da -da. Sagittarius bring the best out of people. Scorpio water signs bring the worst out of people. They got them crab, Scorpio, and fish that could be a goldfish or a starfish. One minute, a jellyfish. Then they turn to a goddamn shark. A killer whale, stingray, whatever. All kind of fishes, Pisces. I'm afraid to lose you. Is it over? I'm afraid to lose you. This person won't immediately come to you. You are too nice. I don't deserve your kindness, of course. I want out. I'm just pulling. I want out came out again. When I cut the deck, I was hurt by you. I don't know who I am anymore that hurt this person. They probably thought they was the king or the queen of the jungle. Alpha female. At least around you. Because you didn't know that they was getting bullied. Or settling for this fucking less where they want to put down someone that had their shit together. Or even think that they can get your number. Or you should be giving them yours. Or however the fucking communication went down. This person knows that they had probably plenty of time to get their shit together. They probably have met other people that's 
doing just as probably good as you or maybe not but they're slow boogie whoever they've seen some people have their lives together it's not like there's not uh, you know, maybe they feel like because you didn't have uh, the materialistic things or you do have the materialistic things, but they judging you because you might be lacking in other areas of your life and they're just comparing. You know, this person can make them a cup of coffee. They make the other person make them a cup of coffee. And just because this person gave it to them right on time with maybe some toast and shit, and this other motherfucker would make a whole pancakes with eggs and all this other shit, they gonna go over there because it just look better. But nobody's getting to know each other. And why this person can't make a decision? Because the decision would be them just leaving, running away like a high, like a kid from home with whoever that they're with, and you just letting them come in. That's like going to the club and meeting someone, having a good conversation, talking to them all night, and uh, now you, in order to be with them, they have to move all their shit in right then and there because that's the only way they're going to be able to get to know you or you go have a one night stand and y'all have a good talk or y'all don't and now it's like okay you want to get to know this person but the only way you can get to know them is if they just move in and move all their kids and they shit in and their legal problems and the problems that they're not taking care of that's you know within them and financially it's kind of like with this person, only way that they were ever in relationships is if they were jumping around, which means on the social media, on the dating apps, at the corner store, at the events, to work, wherever they meeting people, they have to put on a mask that will make them look like they are worth living with, having kids with or whatever they need to look like. They like animals. They like to work out. They into spirit. They're into whatever because they switch up who they are with different people. So the only way you would be able to be with this person is if you just went in or let them come in and just take care of them like a kid. And you do see shit like this. When you see these women, my intuition just kicked in. When you see these women be up here dressing these men and trying to give them what they should already have, like new shoes, old fucking shoes, clothes or whatever. But, you know, we're not taking them school shopping. These are things that should be done. Clean underwear, new underwear, old socks, uh, whatever comes with an adult. Especially when it comes to getting their hair cut, keeping up with their clothes, or however they do it, keeping their clothes clean. That should come with a person. So you would have to take over and be this woman's father. <laughs> Because most men will teach a woman how to be a good woman to dad would teach a woman, excuse me, how to be a good woman that he want her to be. Not for another goddamn mad man, because some dads, most dads that I know of, my dad is very jealous <laughs> of my boyfriends and have no fucking problem letting them know. But he's a kid at heart. He's a narcissist, goddamn. He's a kid. So they throw tantrums. He throws tantrums. When he did, when he was around, the issue is this person, you would have to just take them in. And you, it's like it's gotten to the point where y'all been knowing each other so long, they've been lying for so long, playing games for so long. You know, uh, saying or uh, making promises and not keeping them, uh, moving in and moving out, or uh, making you wait and procrastinating. One is because they left because it was something about us they didn't like. It was something about them that you didn't like as well. 
So if nothing have changed about them or you, then but especially if you're doing good and this person tried to put you down or make you feel like you wasn't something you was and want to so-called humble you. So what you get a get to man get a man, excuse me, that's uh might not mind telling you he don't want you driving his truck or his car. I tell you, you know, I don't want you going everywhere with me when they go out with their homeboys to drink beers and shit. You know, but you could trust that they're going to be there. Are you going to trust that this person might really be into spirituality and know what karma's about? That's what I'll be asking my folks. Do you believe in karma? Because shit, if you don't. Yeah, somebody can't get enough sleep. This ain't rare. Or they're around a motherfucker that's probably getting on their nerves. Or maybe you need to chillax after you've accomplished all these good things or got things done. Or you where you're supposed to be. Are you getting there? Give it time. Yeah. Not trauma bonding with these people that's not real LGBTQ. What the fuck you do? Yeah, you're not even fighting with them with this black belt on. Um, Go on, go on, go on. <laughs> so somebody could want to fight with you or mad, be mad at you. A snake, though. Yeah, you're not jealous. So somebody could want you to be jealous of them because they're jealous of you, or they not. You're not jealous that they're over there with someone that's not rare, and you're not gonna chum a bond with these two monkey motherfuckers or this <laughs> fragile ass cat. You're not jealous. They can have it. They thought they want you to be jealous for what? You probably like men and women. As in the way to either support them or you really are not in the LGBTQ community. You could be really straight or really in the community where you don't really, you know, hey, you let people be them, you know? You don't want to share. You know, I feel like what I'm trying to say, it feels weird for a man to be jealous of a woman or a woman to be jealous of a man. That's stupid unless they in the LGBTQ community. I mean, what the fuck? You worry about your money. You use your intuition with that purple and being creative. You're not jealous. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. They still pointing at you, boo. They still want to send fake ass friend requests or send you friend requests, you know, because you an alien or you a star seed or you a twin flame and people know that. That's who you got mad at you, probably your twin flame. They not jealous no more. They want to be the man of the house. They want to be the woman of the house. They get their position. And it ain't fucking with you, competing with you. <laughs> Being jealous of you, laughing at your downfalls, talking behind your fucking back, thinking they body, they pelvic bone was gonna do it. Yeah, shallow shit. That's what your twin flame or star seed, soulmate, whatever you call this flunky, you jump off. <laughs> Yeah, red flags. That's why you're not trauma bonding. You'd rather go to Starbucks or some shit. <laughs> to the coffee house. The dog park. The bio. The patio porch in the garage. You know, like shit like that. Barbecue. Fried fish. I'm just thinking of good things to do. That is running through my mind. Yeah, this star seed. Let's watch this shallow shit and the red flags. Let's see what's the red flags that you also know. Some. There's nothing rare they're doing. You're not jealous. You know that your twin flame or soulmate 
whatever. It's probably not getting much sleep or aggravated. Yeah, red flags. You're not, these people have, they're showing you how fucked up their childhood was and what they didn't learn from it. You know, maybe you didn't learn from your childhood or maybe you just was born with it. You developed it and you realize who just not going to get it. It's okay. <laughs> Good shit. Better than the me type of energy. Shit. Yeah. This chemistry came in reverse. No heart to heart talk. <laughs> in reverse. Only with these people, it's not just with this reconciliation in reverse. Someone from your past. So you ain't gotta worry about somebody from your past coming back, or you don't have to worry about you not finding someone that's let's keep going. That Emperor Empress energy, boss energy, the dumb one. You have a call on the line. Chemistry. Children. So that's probably why you don't like your ex. Because they don't take care of their kids. Or whoever you was born in. They don't take care of their kids. Or they can't affect the kids they have. Or your kids. Yeah. You have passion. Here go that pregnancy in reverse. But kids... You're yeah, playful. To me, this is how your new relationship gonna be. You gonna fuck around and have kids, or they gonna have kids that y'all really like. Oh, this is kind of beautiful. So the kids, step kids and shit, gonna be back there. So happy with the gifts and the food you cooked and shit. Don't matter what sex you are, shit gonna be really playful. Okay. And I'm going to tell you, I've experienced a relationship kind of similar to that. And it was fun. Yes, honey. Yes. Shit happens. <laughs> it is very fun. Especially if you do have kids. Or you your person, you're gonna be like a stepmom or dad. Um, maybe the chemistry between you and this person's off because you don't have kids. Maybe they're intimidated by that. I heard it's easier to get with women with kids because they, they they can't do shit. So they move faster than a woman that can't. It's time to disconnect from the world. So maybe your person is the kids thing why they don't come towards you. Like, uh, maybe they not ashamed of their little uh, uh, high school ass job or uh, ashamed of leaving who they with or ashamed of uh, the mistakes that they've made with you. It's just they're ashamed that they don't take care of their kids and you do. Or you don't have kids and you don't mess with people that don't take care of their kids. Or they don't have a relationship with their kids like they claim. You know, because we did have the chemistry and then kids. And on the side of that, it had kid, no chemistry to have heart-to-heart -heart talks with them. Or reconciliation. So this person probably don't want to come around you and act like they like their kids when they really don't, you know? Just because you like your kids, you know? And they know that's what's required to be to this. You know? But either way, no heart-to-heart -heart talk. This person has passion. So let's see if this is your new love that you haven't had a chance to. That's why you need to disconnect from the world. Or maybe you want kids and this person don't like kids, even if they have kids. Trust that you're going to have passion with someone that you have not had a heart to heart talk with, honey. It was going to be good. And, um, very fucking soon. Mm -hmm. You're going to be playful and all this here. 
any uh, someone from your past has returned to your life. Nope, they came in reverse. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Let's get it on. Good love and baby. I'm work away. Let's see about that money, honey. For some y'all, this person probably thought she was broke because you don't be flashy. Or they probably think you just spend your money on bullshit when in reality that's how you're so happy because you're not uh, into the bullshit so you might not know that you are um, naturally a private person. Yeah, what did I say? Your life is like a vacation. I'm not fucking around with you. Or something good's gonna happen when you go on vacation. They don't see that you have everything you need. They probably just was around you at the wrong time. Maybe you was on unemployment. Maybe you was going through switching jobs and using your savings. They don't know shit. <laughs> Cryptocurrency. You making digital money or you will or you need to look into that on your vacation. Let the sales, look at sales on cryptocurrency. Or maybe that's what someone else is doing. Maybe someone else is on vacation and they don't have any unexpected income, but it says they're going to. So maybe you're going to be more productive when you get a vacation. Or maybe your life is like a vacation while you can be more productive and get unexpected income. Yeah, see, you got sales in reverse when it comes to cryptocurrency. So maybe you're not making as much sales as you do digitally or whatever you've been doing um, when it comes to even um, <clears throat> watching money on cryptocurrency weekend sales. Maybe you need to look at things on sale because they came in reverse. So you, or maybe you need to buy things more on sale so you can save and get some unexpected income and you probably can relax more. We got sales out here twice though, so maybe you need to sell more online, who knows? Paying bills and sales, that's what you into? Even if you're looking for another job, selling yourself, going in there looking good. In a positive way, long denied. With this unexpected income, with somebody that's on vacation. <clears throat> Cryptocurrency sales have deadlines. Yes, of course, sales have deadlines. So maybe you need to start putting things on sale that you sell and making deadlines for it to get more unexpected income. I feel like my readings are cheap enough. Shit, unexpected expenses too. So you probably have unexpected income coming in, unexpected expenses going out when you pay your bills and you are selling, you probably are buying things on sale. You probably do have a Cash App, PayPal, Apple Pay, or wherever you go on to pay your cryptocurrency and all your credit cards and you have deadlines to meet. So maybe when you use your credit card, you need to buy things more on sale. Then your life will be like a vacation. But maybe you had unexpected expensive and something was denied. If it's not you, it's another person. They was denied maybe Somebody told them they was going to let them borrow some money. And the deadline didn't, that the person was bullshitting and they didn't get it on time. 
for their unexpected expenses. Or maybe they have to pay bills late and they're looking at the interest rates and shit that they have to pay for late fees or reconnection fees or whatever the shit they do. Equipment fees. Taxes. <laughs> Maybe this person that's getting unexpected income, they long was denied while they was on vacation. Maybe they felt like they like was a fucking vacation. And they did make unexpected income, but they're not getting approved for shit. Maybe they got bad credit. Unexpected expenses. Somebody's paying bills and trying to sell. And I feel like you could be making that money digitally and selling and having deadlines to me. Let that resonate. Let's get on. Let's pick up some past energy. I'll just pull three. I don't want to hold you too long. Releasing fear. Self-deception. Stop blaming yourself. Forgiving yourself. Secrets are out. You admit to defeat. You admit it or you accepted a long time ago that, you know, this person just wasn't into you or y'all just came from two different identities. This person was more jealous of you than to get with you competing and wanting to play mind chase games and tag games and it was a waste of fucking times. Uh, the waiting game, the silent treatment game. Like, come on, man. We should be fucking and eating breakfast in nice hotels and or at home or cooking dinner together or going on vacation and shopping and, you know, taking baths and shit together, drinking wine, barbecuing. Mis misuse of intuition. What did I say? <clears throat> it was the right place all the right time for this bullshit. So now this person had played so many games with you, but instead of them just, I mean, I guess they trying to play the waiting game or whatever games they think you're playing when in reality, they're just going back to the old dumb shit they've been doing and you upgrading yourself or healing and getting better why they over there mad at what with that cat all acting crazy with on that roasted card they it's kind of like they mad because they won't you won't let a stranger come live with you a person that was acting another way now it's time for them to show who they are that would be someone you don't fucking know. And then to get to know them if you don't, is like they don't have the beauty of being single. They don't have the beauty or the luxury or the privilege or the intuition or the fucking gift to be independent. They can date someone fairly, regardless if they dating a lot of people or not. You can't be up there looking at options and you living in the whole, or y'all got a whole relationship, couple, home, kids, or single, dogs, cat, whoever it is, a pet, sharing cars, feeling obligated and responsible for each other. So, okay. I hope you have a good day, and if you don't, $20 energy read, baby.